How is the ammo situation? Okay, yeah, 19 spare rounds. Pretty rough. Might have to use the pistol for a bit. Over here is looking okay. I don't know what this effect is. I don't know. We're not hungry anymore. What is it? Why is it like this? <laughs> Should I be worried? Sure, is that the rats? Oh god, no, that's that's not the rats. <sighs> Vinka time! Yeah, now we're hungry again. Oh god. We need something more substantial than breadcrumbs. 100%. Oh, hey, look. There's high sucker skin. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I like the idea that we're getting, like, monster and mutant parts in lieu of um, proper artifacts early on. I think that's a nice little progression step. And then when you finally do start getting the artifacts, they're extremely powerful, obviously, but um, also come at a bit of a cost in that you need the radiation reduction because they're not they're not not radioactive. Unless you get the really good application modules, which are like 20, 30, 40,000 rubles per. Then it's like kind of okay. Hey, you switched it back on, man. That's weird. Um, I think with the really good modules, the, like the permissible is like 24 or something. So unless it's an extremely strong artifact, you don't have to worry about it. That'd be nice. Now, why why do I get hungry so much after a vinca? What do you what do you reduce my hunger by? Oh god, yeah, 166. That's notable. Okay. So yeah, we'd be looking into getting those um, glucose shots, I suppose. Glucose shots because they're lightweight and they give you a bunch of calories. Massively take the edge off. Reset fully. Maybe some of the food. Maybe. Maybe not like the green quality food. Maybe the yellow one that still gives you a bit of radiation. That might be still in the realm of affordability because I don't want to drop a few thousand bucks on a single use meal unless it's a glucose shot. I think the small glucose shots are 4,000. You can get the large glucose shots as well, but those are like eight or 9,000. Too much for me. But yeah, I think in here, well, not, not this room specifically, but around where those controllers, I think there's a dude's body that's got info on it. And I want to say it's Ghost's body in the, uh, in the normal lore. Well, I feel a bit dumb. It looks like debris, but like it doesn't have any lighting or anything. <laughs> it's there. No corpse, though. Interestingly. I, I even double backed and looked through. So I think the corpse I might be either misremembering, totally possible, or uh, there wasn't a quest associated with that, I just realized. Just free money at the turn in, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, it's just information on that. Uh, it could be that if we get the mission from somebody, then we might have to come back in here one day and grab that corpse. Mm, we'll see. For now, I'm quite happy with being done with this place. I've cleared it out twice now. Out here should be clear because this is, this is the outside wilderness type zone rather than like an inside dungeon type area. And this I also have just cleared out, so this should actually be clear. 
Man, it better be clear, because I, I do not have the ammo for this. We're, we're bad with ammo right now. 19 spare shots. The pistol's got an okay amount, but you really drain through the pistol ammo. And then food-wise, we're... Yeah, no, we're still out with that. Oh, no, we're thirsty, actually. Yeah, there's always something in it. One or the other. Yeah. <sighs> What a place, though. It's about as bad as I remember it. It's dark. Uh, not... I remember it being a bit quieter. But... No, maybe. Maybe it was always like that. But a lot of mutants. Dark. Mutant-y. Generally... A bit pain and scary. If you hadn't fought... Uh, snorks yet, you're definitely going to fight them down there. That controller is, I think, always there. I think the pseudo-giant in this tunnel is always here, too. Pretty sure. I don't remember fighting him in a sewer tunnel exactly. I remember something of a hallway. That might just be odd memories, though. Yeah, you see, you get your bolt back all the time. They always have bolts on them. Every time it has to reload the corpse, it throws another bolt on. I don't know why. And yeah, that's definitely blocked off there. Mm -hmm. The barrel was stood back up. That's nice. Monolith keeping this place nice and tidy. I wonder if this is a point of interest in the warfare mode. It's like, actually, anybody can control it. That'd be interesting. Just, like, come down here and there's just vendors and everything hanging around. <laughs> sort of doubt it, but maybe. Whoa! There we are. Mm, yeah, old documents. Very interesting stuff indeed. Such documents are not our specialty, but their contents can shed light on many of our studies. In addition, I have no doubt that our sponsors will be extremely interested in having them. Very positive impact on our funding in returns. Do you want to conclude a special deal with us on this occasion? Documents like these, monetary reward, 12,490. That's pretty good. I might keep them for now though, actually, because if this is what barkeep wanted. I kind of want to head up there anyway, right? I'll keep them for now, but I'll, I'll probably give them to you in the end. And yeah, finish the task first. Okay. So, you can have these bits and bobs from just everything. Except the meat... I might just, I might just give you the meat too, honestly. I don't know how much I care. The burr skin. Psy soccer skin. 17, 20, 20, 26 Psy, 28 Psy, 6, 2, 19. I think you can have the Psy sucker skin. I'll, I'll hang on to the burr skin. Here's a bunch of hands, a bunch of snork legs. Psy sucker hand. Pseudo giant hand, a couple pseudo giant eyes, blood sucker jaw, things that I should probably hang on to, honestly, in case they have a quest like, I need you to bring me a pseudo giant eye. Don't ask questions, and I'll be like, hey, no problem. Also, I've already got it. Mm, could look into maybe upgrading this, this module, permissible 7. 12. 23, that's the proper one. 15 grand, 25 grand. Oof, I sell this for 4,000. Yikes. Uh, for now, let's just sell this stuff. Yeah, I think we just sell that stuff. Disable the brain scorcher way up here. Oh. 
Oh, oh, hold on. <sighs> different, different task. Uh, let's not do the... Echo detector for wanderers. Way up there. Where is the... Uh, Pripyat area. That wrong type of Pripyat. Army warehouses, radar. Dead city doesn't sound familiar. Army warehouses, army warehouses, army warehouses, everything army warehouses. <sighs> Looking for what is it, Zaton or something? Jupiter, Chernobyl NPP, X8. Pripyat, Jupiter Underground, Zatan. Yeah, that seems right. That's where Barkeep is, isn't it? So we need to go into Jupiter. And we get there through the Red Forest. And we get to Red Forest. Through, I guess, talking to Gatekeeper real quick, but north of Duty's area, man, that's a, that's a journey and a half. Because I want to get up there, make a stash, talk to a mechanic up there, turn in all the tools, and then we're just like we're set already. Then you know, I don't know if it's worth making the journey right now though, because I'm pretty positive the story quest is gonna have me go that way anyway. Are you the bed? Excuse me. I need the bed. I'm having a bit of a nap until 8 in the morning-ish. Uh. And then we need to buy food and drink and repair my armor. I'm nervous about the armor. Are you the technician? Um, because this is 49% now. I don't think you've got anything that helps it so low. I think you have to repair this for me. At this point. I'm <laughs> shouting from across the wood. My equipment needs tweaking! 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 41,000! Ouch! But it's gotta be done! Because I done goofed! And 1600 and 2400. 2400? Oh, they need that bad. Yeah, top those off. That's alright. That's not too bad. 700 bucks. That's okay. That's 2,000, but that's just a whetstone. That's an easy thing. Okay. So, trade, you can have these. You buy them for basically what the dude inside bought them for. And then... All that's kind of whatever. That's all fine. Okay. Ouch, the money. Cook, see what you've got going on. Because I would need proper food. 4,000 for 572 kcal. Also a bit of adrenaline. This just feeds you. 822 for 103. That ain't that much. He's got three uses, so it's like a thousand bucks per use. Thousand kcal in total. So you're looking at like 400 kcal for a thousand. I'm doing very heavy rounding here. Yeah, right. And honestly, this was pretty nice. The combat ration. 8,000 bucks for it. It's 531 for the Ukrainian one. 523 for the Russian one. Seven uses. Six uses. Honestly, because this is this is pretty bad here at the 170. It's it's a bit to take the edge off, but it's not enough to actually keep me full. The moment I do kind of anything, it's already game over. 
pack of old meat ain't too bad either, honestly. It's unhealthy. Thirstiness increment. Sleepiness increment. It's a it's a it's a poop thing, technically. Sleepiness, moderate thirstiness. Moderate thir I think it always does moderate thirstiness. That's like two rubles per K Cal though. More efficient than the rations. The rations are just convenient because it's just it's there and you don't have to think about it anymore. So like the baked beans too. Two rubles per K Cal. Maybe we just do that. Canned food, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing it. Okay. But and you can have the meat. Okay. So what else do we have to turn in then? Task list. Because we got that's a different brain scorcher thing. The lab that I was just in is something else. Prototype detector, that's down in garbage, yeah. We can head down and, and grab that, I suppose. I don't really want it though, to be honest. Not right now. Basic sewing kit times four. Don't even know. Oh yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. That, that's uh, that's for the dude that was here. Echo detector for wanderers, they're extremely wandering. I don't even know what zone this is. Jupiter? I'm honestly looking to head up to Jupiter. <laughs> Army warehouses, radar, dead city. Where am I? You'd think I could get up there from where I am fairly easily. There's no northern exit from here, though. That's kind of some of the problem here. There is an exit to dead city. So we could dead city... Army warehouses... Red Forest... I guess we could see about that. I think I'd rather wild territory in the... Uh, in the garbage up into real stock. Yeah, return for the reward there, do a bit of a drop off, buy ammo, because oh my god, I have no bullets. Grab the backpack for a stash. Grab the toolkits and we head north, talk to Gatekeeper along the way, who may send me into up there anyway. I mean, there's also lab X16, or X19. It's like all the labs I gotta go into to disable it proper. Okay. Give me... The food and drink. Smoked sausage. Bump. Makes me a bit thirsty. That's what the water is for. And we're pretty good to go. Oh man, my money. It goes so fast. That's on me though. That's just not paying attention to how much damage our armor has taken. We gotta, we gotta keep a close eye on the... You don't really feel like you're getting beat up as much as you actually are. Like, you're being creamed, armor-wise. It's one of those deals where, like, it makes sense, I guess. It is just annoying, though, having to constantly go back into it. It's like the eating and drinking. It's just, it's constant. I'd almost rather just talk to an NPC and be like, get me a meal, and it's just like, yeah, okay, so you buy the meal and you eat it. Okay, move on. You know? It's, it's whatever. It's some of the immersion stuff in there that's just, uh, after so many hours, it starts to be a bit of an ache. I'm happy to have it, though. I do appreciate the immersion. It is something that sets this apart from other similar titles. Holy crap. There's a shark and a parakeet just sitting in that crate over there. I thought it was just a box of ammo. Excellent. But I just kind of impulse yoink that stuff as I run by. Just... Running. 
Oh no. Did you just crash? Do not have just crashed. Okay, good. Holy Jesus. What is happening over here? Alright, I guess we're taking out some zombies. Bandits being fought by duty as well. I don't know if headshots actually do anything against these guys. I try it because, you know, zombies, but it may not be necessary. I wonder if I can outrange. I don't think so. <sighs> Too close, dude. You dead? Oh, yeah. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Whoa! Army med kit. Yo, did we just advance game stage again? An army med kit. Army med kit and another Vinca. Yo! I think we advanced game stage again. The benefit of the army med kit is I think it heals a little bit more generally, but it also staunches bleeding pretty effectively. So it saves you the trouble of having to bandage up and then use a health kit. You just use an army kit and you're good to go. Duty shooting it. I think it was the bandits. Oh, it's not a bandit. <laughs> the guy's winning. Alright. It's not really worth my bullets, so I'm gonna be over here. Good luck. Somebody tweeted about the bandits, but I didn't fully catch where that was. I thought it was south of the Rostock checkpoint, but... How far south? I have no idea. I also didn't look for artifacts. I'm just... I was hoping just to run through without any drama at all whatsoever, because I don't have the bullets for it. Ugh. Probably gonna have to fight the dogs on the way in again. Although with my stamina regeneration the way it is right now, I can probably just run through and maybe outrun them? Somewhat draw them into the duty soldiers and duty can take them up for me. I like almost literally don't have the ammo for it. <laughs> Just about. Holy crap. Even the pistol ammo is mostly out from those zombies. Glad I bought the few hundred that I did. You'd think that it seems a bit excessive because that's like 11 or 12 boxes of ammo. But dude, you go through it pretty fast. The job's done. 13,600 bucks. That's pretty good. Storm the enemy in freedom? No. Defend the Rostock from the bandits in garbage west of the depot. Okay. We'll do it. maybe see about crafting bullets, I guess, but I have to borrow the vice, which costs money, just to even check to see if I can buy anything. <laughs> Alright, a bit of a trade. I might have to just go for it without much bullet. <sighs> Sofa dimethyloxine. A tourniquet and a Yagulin. That's already 16,500 bucks. You're selling this for 12,600. And it comes with the mineral water, which is usually uh, like over a thousand, I think. The medical packages are a great deal. You can even get a scientific one with anti radiation drugs, antioxidant IP2, big glucose shot, two cystamine, the diclofenac still, epinephrine, a harness. Adrenaline B190, mineral water, sign block, scientific stimulants, sulfur, dimethyl. I don't know what any of that stuff is. It sounds great. <sighs> What's that? It's alright. Good to know, though, that that is actually worth it in a fairly significant way. Next time in Mini Antar, I ought to talk to that guy and see if he had any of the nicer packs then. 
because his prices are already pretty great. And if I can buy a, a big bulk discount thing at discount already, oh my god. Depot and get stuff sorted and switch around and we'll see about heading up north then. The big journey. Talk to Gatekeeper along the way and see what he wants. It would have been 17360 for the medium armor repair kit to repair this thing if it was above 50%. It was at 49% though, so I wouldn't have even been able to use it then, but just straight up expensive letting it get that damage, man. We got to really be on top of our uh, durabilities here. Cannot let that happen again. That was a massive, massive, it was like 40,000 it was or something. Jeez. All right. Well... I don't think you got a whole lot else for me right now. I think I've got okay basics. I just need to be all right with checking. This stuff is good for like everything. Like this whole row of stuff is just everything. It all works. There's the basic sewing kit that I could maybe grab for what's his butt before he dies. I don't really want to go back over right now though. Honestly, <laughs> uh, you don't have any work for me. All right, peace. Why? We already slept, so that's that. And steel wool we can hang on to as a as a temporary item. Things like welding goggles. Do you want these? No, have no. Don't actually. I'm gonna hang on to that because we can make ammo. All right. Okay. Yeah, fine. Stash them away. The steel wool is handy to have. These mirrors and crap, we can just sell these to random folks. It don't matter too much. I need a pack, and I need basic tools, advanced tools, expert tools. And then... 2.8 kilograms of the one. Like, just in case I drop the ball again, 50% then. Yeah, all right. I do have some ammo. This is old ammo, though. Well, that's not, but meh. Then... Basic... Full metal jacket, ideally. Nope. Got these weird RG028, so that I think are slightly better armor pen. Slightly. Bunch of crap to disassemble someday when I feel like it. I'll just turn like the item use animations off and just mass disassemble stuff. Because there's an option for that. Then you don't do that weird drunken stagger while you're using something. It just it just goes through. Deposited the burr skin because if I want psi resistance, I've got psi block. And the pseudo giant hides I've dropped because I'm not really sure what to do with them exactly. They seem okay, but I've already got these, which are just better. The electrical resistance blows, but that's what this is for then. It actually doesn't make up for that much, honestly. This is mostly just a convenience thing for the stamina recovery and a bit of the burn resist and all that. Not that we're doubling up the burn resist very much, but you know. Whatever. And then... Was I able to use these out and about? Yeah, no. I need a device for that. I'll bring one with, because I don't know what all they need up north. Big, big journey. But I'm up for it. We got food and drink. We got full repairs, largely. We're gonna up this away though. Because this makes the most. We didn't have anything else to turn in here, did we? Nah. Head up this northern route into the army warehouses, talk to Gatekeeper, and then up into Red Forest, I think it was. Or Dead City? One of those. Wiggle and waggle our way across and get up there. But it's a journey that we're almost definitely gonna have to be making at some point for the story anyway. So I should probably wait until that. But I want to turn these tools into somebody up north and get a bunch of money. <laughs> and also more rep and stuff. 
It's just, I got a lot of money and rep worth of turn-ins on me sitting in storage because I want to save them for a technician up north. And then we can give them to Xenotech or whatever afterwards if I find even more of them. That's all fine. It doesn't matter much then. A technician in my pocket down south and up north, that's all I need. I would imagine. The map's not very east-west from what I can tell. 